Hi. Today I want to talk about acidosis. Acidosis is the state of the body in which the human body has become acidic. Well, maybe you want to know why it's important. What does it matter? Well, the truth is the human body is slightly, slightly alkaline. Slightly, I mean, the neutral point is 7. That is the pH value of water, 7. That is neutral. The human body normally has a pH value between 7.35 and 7.45. That is slightly, slightly alkaline okay now anything that has a pH value below 7 is acidic okay now how does the body become acidic and why does it matter those are the very good questions first of all it matters because an acidic body is a playground for disease here is why. Do you know that when the body dies, any animal's body, when it dies, it becomes acidic. Now, when it becomes acidic, microbes, the teeny teeny microbes, go in and decompose the body. That is what they do. That is their function in life, to decompose dead bodies. Okay? So that acidity in the dead body is an indicator that the body is ready to be decomposed. Now, when a living human body becomes acidic, microbes come in and settle because they believe that the body is ready to be decomposed. That is what they do. That is why you find that some people catch every infection that comes when there's a flu they're the ones who catch it when there's this one bug they catch it when there's this other bug they catch it and the people around them don't catch anything and they always wonder oh why do i catch this i know i'm going to this. some people actually claim i know i'm going to catch that cold because i always catch it that is because they are acidic okay and the more acidic you become, that is when we say you have acidosis. Okay. Now, the big question is, how does one become acidic if it is so bad? Right. Here's the thing. It's what we put into our body. And what we mostly put into our bodies is food and drink. Now, some foods have an acid, acidifying effect on the body. That means after digestion, acids are produced as a byproduct. That is what some foods do. And which foods are these? These are mostly animal products, meats, all sorts of meats, dairy products. It doesn't matter whether it's raw milk or whatever kind of milk or cheese. They are acidifying to the body. Okay? And then there are foods that are alkalizing to the body. These are the fruits and vegetables. Right? Then there are foods that are slightly acidifying. Okay? Like your beans. They are acidifying, but only to a very small extent. Not as bad as meat. They provide your protein, but they are acidifying. Nuts and seeds, if you roast them, they become acidifying to the body. But if you eat them raw, they are alkalizing. So it is in that roasting and cooking that you change the chemistry and make them acidifying. So... What does this mean? If you want to maintain that slightly alkaline state of the body, that means you should eat 
a lot of your alkalizing foods, your fruits and vegetables. Then, those vegetables that are slightly acidifying, like your beans and your nuts and your seeds, eat them. But if you eat them in combination with your alkalizing foods, that means you don't have an acid problem. Now, if you eat a lot of animal products, you have cheese with everything, you have extra cheese in your, in your pizza, you have your big steak every day, you have your big chicken, your full chicken, whatever, whatever foods, whatever animal products, anything, dried or fresh or cooked or roasted, it doesn't matter. They are acidifying to the body. That is their nature. They produce acids in the body. Then there's also things like sugar, which are also acidifying and should be reduced. So, the point here is acidosis is a state of the body when it becomes acidic. And it becomes acidic because certain foods make it acidic. And that acidity brings infections to the body. You catch every cold, you catch every cough, you catch this bug and that bug. Secondly, when you become more and more acidic, you develop cancer. That is why you find that some people develop cancer and others don't. It's because some bodies are acidic and others are not acidic. That is why people have all these problems, which are different. It's in the state of the body. So the point is, the message here is, look after your health. Eat those foods that make your body slightly alkaline to neutralize the foods that make your body slightly acidic. If you eat the things that make your body very acidic, then maybe you won't be able to neutralize that very acidic stage. So, that is acidosis for you. It attracts diseases. The next time I talk about acidosis, I will be talking about how it affects the body. It's not just the infections. It's a lot of things. So until next time.